What up YouTube, welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 and today we're gonna start off with Majin Vegeta. So last time we have completed 83 or 80% of Vegeta. So now we're gonna be, okay this one is a little bit, it looks a little bit short but alright let's get started with this one normal. And before we actually start this video, uh, let's actually see, can we get maybe any, he only has 11 points so we're gonna do this. Uh, hopefully some, nah, maybe some, yeah, some defense would sound pretty good but how's everyone doing today? I'm doing mighty fine, I'm just a little bit sick you know, I still can't. Get over this damn sickness, which I'm getting kind of pissed, but I mean, it's all good because last video, you guys, oh my god, I was just coughing and coughing and, and it was just crazy, but have you guys noticed my new fucking outro? It's kind of weird where I'll be like, Screech! like, I think about it, I'm just like, what the fuck am I even saying? But anyways, guys, let's get started. So Vegeta versus Pycon and Janemba. Now that I think would honestly be a pretty cool ass duel right there if you think about it, you know, because uh, it's like a Piccolo top of looking dude and then we got Janemba. So we're fighting in hell. It's always, it, sometimes I kind of think about it, I'm just like, this is hell, like, you know, for the Dragon Ball Z universe and stuff like that, like, this is hell, like, it looks kind of cute, you know, I mean, <laughs> sounds kind of stupid, but <laughs> it's kind of funny, uh, but it's like little bubblegums flying up in the air, like, I don't really understand that part right there, I'm about to stop the fuck, ooh, little bitch ass, ooh, come on, come on, come on, oh, yeah, eat that little shit, oh, eat it, oh, okay, Damn, okay, this guy, honestly, he looks a little bit way better with, like, uh, he looks a little bit way better. He looks way better with his hat on, because look at his head. I mean, come on, he, this dude looks like a fucking octopus. Come on, ooh, bang, 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 bang. Okay, now let's charge up and finish, damn. I've kind of noticed that I don't even use the same combos as I used to, but now I, I should. And I kind of forgot how to teleport. <laughs> oh, damn, I already knocked him out, no wonder. Look at that shit, look at his head. Looking like a fucking octopus. Oh, hell no. Come on, bro. Wouldn't this be a pretty dope what it battle? Because if you think about it, uh, Vegeta, I mean, actually, no. I believe, yeah, no, actually, I think Janemba will most likely win because, you know, he was putting the beat down on Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And this Vegeta right here would probably not be able to, like, he wouldn't have the power to actually beat Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys think that he could actually win? Because if you think about it, if he sacrifices himself, you know, he just blows himself up, then maybe... He could maybe, actually, oh, oh, hey, bro, you missed. He could maybe, you know, blow him up because Majin Buu was able to come back to life because he has that whole regeneration power. And uh, he was able to j regenerate or whatever. And Janemba, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. But unless, you know, I feel like Janemba probably would because this dude's, like, made out of Legos. If you guys see some of those moves, you know, like, how, how he, like, moves and she kind of teleports. It looks like Legos moving around and shit. So maybe, but, I mean, you just never know. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys think that the final explosion could defeat Janemba? I personally, I think maybe, but I feel like Janemba's a little just too more powerful. But all right, come on. All right, saving data. Yes, I fucking know it. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I'll be turning off my PS3 when it's it says that. And I'm just like, fuck, I'm an idiot. Why should? I? Oh, damn. Okay. So let's go. Okay. Time attack. Defeat five fierce five fierce opponents. Okay. Game on, mother buggers. All right, let's see. Let's actually just upgrade. Oh, don't even have enough. It's all good, though. It's all good. What about this? Do I got enough? Yes, I do. What about etc? Let's just put a halo because, you know, it's 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 always dope having a little halo, you know, because we from heaven. We from the heavens. We from the OGs, the older gods. Quote, quote, e But all right. So let me know in the comments down below, what would you guys like to see after this character? Because I feel like I might be doing one of the Z fighters or maybe one of like a villain or stuff. I don't know. Um, whoever I see in the comments down below, comment the most, you know, not comment the most, but if I see like a comment, let's say, for example, Yangsha, my boy, you know, everybody hates on him, but that's my boy though. I kind of hate him too, but he's dope. He's dope. And let's say he has like 10 thumbs up, you know, for his comment, then obviously I'm going to choose him, but you guys know what I'm going to, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah blah, blah, blah. oh my God, what's up, what up? Damn, I'm so weird. Sometimes I just be talking, I'm just like, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> Come on, I'm about to put the beat down on you, boy. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up, cooler. Oh, cooler. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Gigging. Oh, gigging. 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 All right, let's go. Come on. I'm about to put the fucking beat down on this bitch. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. All right, let's see. What kind of attack does, let's see, Vegeta. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. I should not do it. I know he has a final explosion. And that is not a good move to do at this type of time, you know, like. Because obviously I'm going to blow up this dude and then I got four of them and uh, it's just bad. Yo, where you at? Okay, cash this for me, bro, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, damn, that was a lot of damage right there. See, now I would really want to see Frieza and Cooler team up against Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Just seeing that, you know, because 
Haven't you guys ever wondered, like, sometimes when you guys are watching a movie, you're just like, damn, I wish, like, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku or, or like, some, like, they could actually meet, you know, Vegeta or, like, I mean, uh, not Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, you know, like, just to, just to show, like, their enemies how powerful they got over time, you know? I always thought about it, I was just like, okay, that's honestly kind of dope, I guess, you know, if they were to make a movie that brings back all the villains, but that, ladies and gentlemen, is not gonna happen because it's just, I just don't think it's gonna happen, you know? Bringing back Frieza, you know, Resurrection of Frieza, oh, what the fuck? Having the resurrection of Frieza movie, like, they can't just do that again, you know? Like, bringing back all of them t to life and shit. I mean, they already did it, too, because in the movie Eradicate of All Saiyans, you know, where uh, the movie that came with this game right here, Hachiak or whatever, <clears throat> he brought back all the villains like Frieza, Cell, and uh, I believe uh, Majin Buu's, I believe. One of uh, Majin Buu, I think, or Kid Buu, Super Buu, I'm not really sure. They brought back, or I think Broly. I'm not sure, but... You know, and the Z Fighters were already hella powerful and shit, and I'm just like, okay, I don't think that would be a good idea, you know I mean? It is kind of repetitive, having a movie that, you know, if you've shown multiple times already, the same concept, you know, bringing back the villain from the dead, and it's just crazy, but... Honestly, if I were Kir Kiri Toriyama, you know, for the fans, if he really did, like, you know, care about the... I mean, he does, obviously, I think, he cares about the fans if he's making the movies, but... Come on, like, we would all really want to see the Dragon Ball Z series continue, like, you know, I know I know we got the Battle of the Gods, but, like, come on, like, you know, it would be dope to have Mira, Toa, you know, the characters from Xenoverse come back into this, like, you know, series and stuff. Now, that would have been dope, and, you know, having maybe Goku turn Super Saiyan 4, you know, just a bunch of little, just, just a lot of different things. Now, that would be sick right there, because I remember every time I watched, like, some series and stuff, and then all of a sudden I would be like, oh, what the fuck, a new transformation, like, oh, that's dope right there. And... For those, I don't know, I'm not really sure, I'm pretty sure I don't have any viewers that are way older than I am, but for those viewers, if there was a viewer out there, or you guys already know how it is, because, you know, maybe you had a parent, a si older sibling talk to you about it, but when Dragon Ball Z was first, you know, kind of broadcasting on, on TV, how was it? Like, was it a brand new episode every week? Like, you know, like, let's say, like, you know, The Walking Dead, but at the same time, I feel like it wouldn't be such a great idea because, you know, a Dragon Ball Z episode... Oh my god, I can tell you guys right now, one episode per week, oh my god, now that is a long way to go because for Goku to transform into a Super Saiyan, it took like 20 to 30 fucking episodes, you know, so I can only imagine like, damn, oh damn, this motherfucker's beating my ass, oh damn, but just imagine that like, I don't know, how would it be, would, would they put a brand new episode every day, because believe it or not everybody, um, for the, the TV shows that my parents watch on TV, oh my, this mother, oh my, God, little bitch. So the, the TV shows that my parents watch, which is pretty much like, you know, a little Mexican or Hispanic novellas and shit like that, you know, TV shows, they make a brand new episode, release a brand new episode every single night. Now that right there, everybody is sick, but the thing about that, you know, the show is obviously going to run out really quick, and I can only imagine that, you know, The Walking Dead being like that, like, every... Every night, you get a brand new episode. Now, that's sick right there. And I'm wondering, was Dragon Ball Z like that? Or maybe a brand new episode every two days? I'm not really sure because there was around... There was 200 plus episodes for this. And it lasted a really long time. So, I kind of do have a feeling that it was probably like, okay. Maybe it was uh, one episode or two episodes every single day. I'm um, not every single day. Once a week and shit. So, okay. Oh, my God. I Damn, I don't get nothing. Okay, greatly boost your ultimate attack strength with... But it's kind of funny. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. With each. Oh, never mind. See, that's see, that's the bullshit. That that's bullshit right there. Because if I if I put this right here, there's no point. I'm just gonna kill myself, you know. Because Vegeta, this dumbass, decided to make his own attack to blow himself up. So, but it's all good though. Damn. Now we gotta fight Trunks, my son. Not my son, but you know Vegeta's son, Trunks, Trunky. <coughs> Not gonna lie, every time I see, like, you know, videos about Dragon Ball Z conventions and stuff like that, um, I be watching, you know, people, and I'm just, like, they try to spike up their hair, and I think about it, I'm just, like, it's kind of impossible for you to actually make your hair like this, because look at it, every single hair piece is, like, thick as shit, like, you know, you think about it, like, what the hell, oh, hell no, come on, ooh, bang, bang, ooh, you know what, ooh, I'm, I'm about to just shoot a random ass, uh, like, final fucking Big Bang coming out against the fucking, oh, the audience and shit like that, like, oh, we enact. You know what I always thought everybody too, you know? Okay, so I don't got piercings, but I've always thought about getting piercings. Two piercings on both ears. Yes, I know a lot of people are going to be like, old school people are going to be like, oh my god, that's only for girls and you know, whatever. But, oh my god, I already, damn. But I thought about it, I was just like, honestly, if I already get piercings, I would order online the Dragon Ball Z Patara earrings. I seen some, 
and they actually look pretty sick. I, I thought about it. I was just like, ah, I could just imagine going to like a Dragon Ball Z event and wear some Patara earrings, you know, like that would be dope right there. Now people would be like, damn, this dude's looking hella fresh and he got the Patara earrings. Damn, Res X respects. All right, ooh, all right, we unlocked some for Majin Buu, for Fat Buu, Fatty Buu. Okay, come on. Okay, we got five new points. Saving data. Please do not turn off the system. I'm, I, I could turn off the motherfucking system if I want to. Bitch. Okay. So now we got Majin Buu that we got to fight. All right, let's get it. Come on. So item customize. Come on. Can you give me maybe like this right here? Key super. Nope. Give me this one right here. Oh, yep. All right, cool. So now we're powered up. Shit. Come on, let's get it. It's kind of funny because... um. I remember back then when I first started playing, when my brothers first started beating the Galaxy Mode, he didn't even finish it. But what happened was, he had a lot of those skills. Oh my god, I need a cough. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. <laughs> that sounded disgusting, what the fuck. But my brother, he had some capsules or whatever. And, uh... <laughs> Damn, that cough was horrible. <laughs> but he had some capsules and all of them were large. Instead of the S, it was an L for large. So, could it be like that? Maybe I gotta unlock some more? I'm not really sure. Get your bitch ass up, you dumbass blob. Oh, yep. All right. I'm about to do the same thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, shit, no. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. I kind of forgot. I'm supposed to add that one skill. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Oh, what? What? No! Do not touch me, boo. Whoa, you're like hella rolling down and shit. Come on. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. No! Shoot some key blast. Come on, get up. Oh, what the hell? I even... Damn, that was a flawless victory. And I was supposed to use that star to death or whatever move or whatever. Damn. See, now that is dope right there. I just like... Because of me playing Xenoverse, I was able to learn how to do all these combos in this game. Damn, I'm solid. I'm, a, I'm, I think I'm a, I think I'm about to go into pro. You know, Raging Blast two fucking pro player shit. All right, so if you've earned a brand new move, Final Impact, four brand new points, and Vegeta. Oh, look at that right there. That's the first time that this asshole Vegeta, this douchebag tool Vegeta, hugs his kid. You know, like sometimes you know you think about it, just like you know you gotta show love to your kids because they're about to turn into little savages. All right, so let's go. So let's see what we could get. Instinct. Oh no, I can't even do that. Galaxy mode, this either. No, we can't do none of that bullshit. Oh, it's all good though. I do apologize though, everybody, for cussing. I know so many people want me to stop cussing, but I'm most likely not. Like, just to be honest with you guys, like, cussing there and then, it doesn't even hurt. As long as I'm not, like, back then in my old videos where I just be cussing non-stop, I would say fuck shit, like, in every single damn episode, episode, every single damn sentence. Like, have you guys noticed over the past, for those, uh, my fans out there that have been with me for, like, over a year, have you guys noticed that I pretty much stopped cussing by a lot? Like, I mean, I, I do be saying fuck, I do be saying a lot of stuff, but back then, I would just cuss non-stop, like, like, it's crazy. Back then, I would just cuss cuss non-top and I, I sometimes thought about it. I'm just like maybe if I would have never cussed as much as I did you know back then like you know my language as everything was like as it is right now you know less cuss words and everything then I feel like I would probably have a bigger fan base because there is a lot of people that just they just hate cussing and I'm just like I don't get it what's so wrong about cussing I mean yes obviously you know it's bad but come on we're watching like violent ass games like right now look we're we're playing a game that you're just beating the shit out of your opponent. GTA, you know, you're killing innocent people and shit on the streets. And, like, you know, one little cuss word, they're like, oh, my God. Like, parents will be like, oh, yeah, don't watch that YouTuber because he cusses. And I'm just like, yo, in the first place, like, you know, your kid is watching GTA, a game where you just kill innocent people for no reason. You just be doing, and then I'm just like, one little cuss word, like, okay, I, that makes sense. And that's the reason why I sometimes just cuss, you know, like, in videos like these, I don't really cuss as much. But, like, in GTA, I do cuss, you know, like, a little bit more than I do with Dragon Ball Z because it's like, if you think about, like I said, if you think about it, you're killing innocent people, you're running over innocent people, you're shooting people, you're selling drugs, you're doing a bunch of shit on GTA, and you can't cuss, like, yo, that just doesn't make any sense, you know, that what's the point of letting your kid watch a video like that and, like, you know, with no cuss words, it's like, it's, it's just like, I don't know, everybody, it's, a, I know it's entertaining, it's all for entertaining purposes and stuff like that, but, I mean, like, you know, that's always been my, like, thoughts, you know, like, about it, on cussing and stuff like that, like, if you're gonna play, like, a really, a really hardcore, like, you know, gory-ass game, it's 
rated M for mature, then obviously, you know, you could cuss. But it's games like these, you know, rated T for teen and stuff like that. I believe this game, I don't know what game rate rating this shit does. I think it's an E or teen or I'm not really sure. Um, But, like, games like these, maybe then, yeah, because, you know, you probably got, I most likely because... I know a lot of my uh, my Dragon Ball Z fans, they're like, you know, underage and stuff like that. But shout out to all the fans out there that are around my age. But yeah, all right, let's get it. Oh, damn, but sh shout out, actually, shout out to everybody that's even watching this video. If you guys are watching this video at this point, make sure you guys let me know. Comment down below. Um, Super Saiyan strawberries or super, I don't know, some bullshit. Super I don't know, whatever. Super Saiyan whatever word and just let me know in the comments down below. I just want to see what how, how many people have made it so far into this video. Okay, come on. Let's go to another just because of that. We're going to keep on making this video a little longer. Let's go. Come on, okay. Okay, so we got, we defeated Gohan and Deborah. I feel like we could even beat it right here. Like, okay, I've unlocked. I don't even know what I unlocked because I just skipped it. Damn, but it's all good. Damn. Damn, son. I'm just kidding. All right, let's see. So today we got a very hard defeat. The enemies that appear both start with high tension. Okay, held constantly recovers. See, I don't like that bullshit right there. You know, just for that Goku. I'm about to put the beat down right now. I'm about to grab your face and just clean the dirt with it. You know, like, <clears throat> I don't understand. It's telling me that I'm getting a lot of stuff, but whatever. Let's just go. I ain't no little pussy. Let's just go. Come out. Come out. Come on. Saronga. See, now this is the ultimate battle right here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, if only Vegeta could have reached to a Super Saiyan 3. Now, that would have been dope because, you know, it would have been sick towards the end of uh, the Dragon Ball Z series. I mean, I know I know Vegeta. I mean, I, I know Goku was dead and shit like that. I mean, everyone was, like, dead and shit. But it would have been sick towards the end to show, end off the entire series with, like, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku just go head toe to toe. You know that? No, that would have been sick. No, I am not going to be tempted to use my attack. Oh, damn. Come on. Ooh, attack. Oh, come on. Ooh. Eat that shit, Goku. Hey, hey yo, bro, stand up. Come on. Ooh, oh, damn. Come on. Oh, come on. Stand up. Oh, come on. What? That was it? I beat the shit out of Goku. <laughs> Imagine that, everybody. Instead of Goku being the number one, it was Vegeta. Like, the main character, main, main character was Vegeta instead of Goku. What do you guys think would like that? Because I know there's a lot of fans that people... Uh, I know that there's a lot of hardcore Vegeta fans that would rather prefer Vegeta being the number one superhero. Or the number one hero in... Uh, the whole entire Dragon Ball Z series. I mean, obviously, you know, I would really like to see that. I'm not going to lie. You know, I would watch an entire series that was focused just on Vegeta. Now, that would have been sick right there. Because it's just like, you think about it like, okay, Vegeta's evil. I mean, I don't know, because if Vegeta was, like, let's say Goku was evil and Vegeta wasn't. Now, that's pretty weird because, oh, look at that. We unlocked Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Come on. Okay, and I believe this is the final bat. No. All right, this is the one. Okay, normal. Okay, survival battle to defeat all warriors who appear one after another player. Okay, let's go to this one right here. And uh, let's see. Can we do maybe another customization? Customization. All right, I think now. Oh, my God. Just by one fucking point. What the hell? All right, whatever. Let's just go. All right, this is a survival battle. Let's see how many characters we could actually survive as. All right, so Vegeta versus this little green-ass motherfucking bitch. Zarbon. Zarbonian. Zarbonian, Zar Cinnamon Bun. All right, let's go. Come on, I'm trying to fight already. Damn, look at those next gen graphics. That's crazy, everybody. Like again, I just thought about it. Like, damn, ten to ten to twenty years from now, where the hell is gaming gonna be at? Like, you know, like I don't know. I think about it, I'm just like, fuck, man. Like, graphics are this. I mean, these graphics look dope. The Xenoverse graphics look great. Just imagine like a PlayStation 10 or a PlayStation. I mean, I'm pretty sure PlayStation's not gonna go up to that high. You know, they might. I mean, you just never know. But like, place like I'm pretty sure they're gonna there's gonna be a PlayStation 5, and uh, just imagine those graphics or a PlayStation 6 graphics. Like, I don't know. I mean, all these damn graphics are just gonna be so dope. Oh, right, come on, let's get it. Oh, come on, let's get. Oh, eat my ass. Oh, what? Now that was now that was a powerful move right there. Come on. Oh, come on. Got, 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 got. Okay, now see this is. We're really powerful right now. Damn, we just beat the shit, living shit out of Cell. Cell Jr. Oh, what? Look at this go tanks. I never really, I don't remember seeing him in that little green outfit. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, crash, crash, crash. Oh, 
Oh, oh, that is dope. Oh, that is dope. Let's, let's do that shit again. Oh, come on. Oh, you little bitch. Oh, I'm stuck on a wall. See, on Xenoverse, they should have done that. Oh, nope. Nope. Nuh-uh. You ain't gonna touch me, bro. You ain't gonna touch me. You ain't gonna tie me. Nah. What if I start seeing shit? <laughs> come on. Ooh. Damn. Come on, go tanks. Grow some balls and fight me. Oh, let's go. Come on. Oh, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, let's get it. Damn. All right. I already got three. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys played this Galaxy Mode mission, what was the top number that you guys had? Oh, Vegeta. I think, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be the only Vegeta here, so I think I'm just going to sacrifice. Oh, come. Little bitch. Come on. Let's try to go at least for... Nah. Let's, let's try to go for at least six. That's that's my goal right there for, for six. Or maybe ten. Ten is impossible. If ten... Then if I say ten, if I hit ten, let's let's set a let's set a goal for where, where'd you go, bitch? Yo, where'd you go? Where where you going, bro? Oh my god, D don't do that shit! Oh my god, this guy's oh you know what, everybody? You know what? You know what? I think it's time, everybody. It's it's time to go, everybody. I'm just gonna just let go, and I'm just gonna just explode myself. Come on! Oh no no! Oh hey, bro, you missed. I'm over here. All right, come on, everybody. Let's go! Come on! Come on! It's time to go! Oh, damn. All right, pizza, my boy. Oh, shit. And I am dead. I am dead. All right, if it's Trunks, I'm going to let him. I'm going to let him take me down. Oh, my God. I'm really going to get taken down by this faggot. Oh, my God. Not faggot, but this douchebag right here. Come on. Ooh. Oh, come on. Nuh uh. Not you. Not you, Raccoon. Not you, bro. You ain't going to do it. Come on. You ain't going to take me down. Uh uh. If it's gonna, if someone else is gonna take me out, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let someone else. But not you, bro. Not part, not people from the captain getting from the captain from the getting you for Hell, not, not to the, not to the, not to the, not. All right, so you know what? No, suck it, cell. Ah, and I'm dead. Oh damn. Okay, now that was five. Fuck it, whatever. Five is the lucky number. It's my lucky number too. I'm always a winner. I am always a winner, everybody. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, remember to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, like always. And I'll see you guys in the next Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 Galaxy Mode video.